Last Sunday, I actually went to uh, you know, volunteer to train people for electric unicycle on uh, the Sunday of 25th of October 2015, but I realized there is no training on that day. <laughs> uh, but it's pretty hazy, so I can uh, understand why. Um, as I ride around the area, I realized uh, there is another group of uh, electric unicycle riders riding around with uh, the brand new IPS Zero, which is awesome. Okay, let's examine the specification of the IPS Zero. There's three models uh, available for you to buy. Uh, one is one three zero watt hour, the other one is two six zero, and the other one is three four zero watt hour. Uh, all three of them are thirty kilometer per hour. Uh, unfortunately, you need to unlock the thirty kilometer per hour speed by going above fifty kilometer range. Uh, this is for the safety for the riders, so new riders will not over speed, which is a good thing. Uh, they have uh, safety features for the pedal to uh, actually raise up uh, when you uh, cross over the max maximum speed limit. Uh, some will prefer not to have a raising pedals, some will prefer uh, having it. Max climbing angle is 30 degrees. Uh, it, it does look a bit suspicious, 30 degrees is like uh, a little bit too steep, but uh, I, I will not say uh, it's not true, maybe it's a 30% of the, the, the angle, or maybe it is a 30 degrees. But uh, it's really up to individual to test it out once they got it. Uh, the weight of it is very very light. It's a 8.6 kg for the lightest. For the net weight, gross weight is about 10.6 kg. Okay, now uh, I would like to describe the feeling of riding IPS Zero. First thing first, the pedals is uh, larger and it is a uh, flat in surface, so it feels slightly more comfortable than those are uh, not flat. Uh, in terms of the pedals and the second thing is the braking the, uh, the accelerating and the turning and the reversing it feels very soft on the pedals uh, the wind riders and night ball is most most of them is quite hard in terms of uh, the reaction so it's actually uh, for me much more easier to control but for softer uh, certain people actually like it better for uh, reversing and braking because it, it feels softer on the knees and uh, it's actually like riding on clouds uh, it's actually very very soft one feature that's lacking on this ips zero unicycle is when you actually fall off the unicycle uh, and you uh, align it uh, straight up you still need to turn it on again uh, in order to turn it on uh, unlike the nightbot one and the wind rider which it turn on automatically when you lift it up Okay, the design of the IPS uh, Zero unicycle is almost comparable to the Nightbot one. Unfortunately, uh, there's a couple of design flaws. First thing first is the charging port is located at a dust prone area, as you can see from this uh, particular uh, footage. Uh, I'm pointing out that, that particular location. Yes, that's the part where the dust might go in. When it rains, uh, water might just drip into it, uh, which is a no-no. So. Um, for people who own this IPS Zero unicycle, uh, my recommendation is to find a piece of tape or some ways to DIY a way to cover up the port uh, while you're riding it. Uh, but it does uh, you know, brush against your leg, so sometimes that particular DIY might be uh, you know, peeled off easily. So be aware of that particular flaws uh, in this uh, IPS Zero unicycle. The design of the IPS Zero might restrict you from installing the trolley handle bar, uh, but you might be able to install the pull rod instead. However, the lightweight and small size of IPS Zero make it more portable than uh, the counterpart like the Nightbot One, which is more heavier and slightly bigger. So, have you owned your IPS Zero yet? If yes, put in the comment section below what do you think about this IPS Zero unicycle. And I'm very interested to hear from you guys uh, in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching Simon's video. Have a nice day. See ya. Bye bye.